Hi everyone, this is Matty from Marie McGo Club. So we're here, we have the superstar, George Bonds here, who just won the Amateur Championship. At Crew, yeah, yeah, oh, well, 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 a bit of everything and I think it's very important to get out in the course. I think if I'm trying to prep for a tournament you need to get out in the course and see shots so I'll probably start in the morning with a little bit of everything so I do some putting and chipping and mainly kind of variable stuff so I, I don't I don't work too much on technical kind of things I just play games and par 18s and stuff like that get me seeing shots different shots and kind of pulling, pulling out putts and then go and hit a few balls in the range, whatever you're working on, but I'd definitely get out in the course, I'd 100% priori prioritise that, I think that's the most useful yeah. So if you had, do. say, two hours of working your game, you'd probably do, like, what, maybe 30 minutes, and then go out the golf course? Yeah, and I would, nine holes yeah. Kind of so what, 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 up at St Andrews, what I use is, like, the ball golf course, the nine hole yeah, course, yeah. so I get out there, and it kind of has a range of shots, so I get out there to see some shots, and then I'll go and work on whatever I'm working on for the other half hour or so. Very good. Uh, yeah. Second question, how would you, how do you utilise your coach, and how often do you see him? Um, so I've, since we live in different parts of the country, um, I see him every couple of weeks. But we, it's not like a short session. We spend like almost a full day together mm -hmm. um, and cover kind of all bases and really get pretty in depth. So, so if, if we were closer, we would do it definitely weekly. But. Very good. Um, so how, if you were back at Wilmington, how would you best utilise this industry? Um, I think it kind of depends on the, the situation. I think through the winter. It depends what you're working on, but I quite like seeing numbers to, to maybe back up things that you're seeing with a golf ball. So basically more kind of data gathering or whatever, and that can kind of back up things you're seeing in the course, and you can then kind of make a plan of how to improve that, and you can go and play courses and stuff. Yeah. If, it's, if it's not good out there, instead of hitting into winter greens or a closed golf course, you know, you can go and see some, it's not quite the same as it, but you can, you can go and play some golf balls. Brilliant. And uh, best advice for any aspiring juniors at William & Golf Club, what would be some tricks or some things you would say would have helped you accelerate your level? Um, I think the most important thing is going out and playing against each other. I think yeah, yeah, that's yeah. when I first joined here, I'd say that's why I first got good at golf, is we had a, a lot of juniors, mm -hmm. all who kind of played a lot together, and we kind of just got better together, because we were yeah, yeah. playing head to head yeah. against each other all the time, I think that was the biggest. Competition is a massive play. Yeah. Very good. Right, okay, we've got quick five questions. Lowest ever score to par? Ever? Okay, um, eight under. How many bonus do you have? Uh, nine, I think. Wow. Very good. Lowest score at William and Golf Club? Can you remember? I think 63. Wow, very good. Very good. Um, Favourite hole at William and Golf Club and why? Uh, that's a good <laughs> question. Um, Probably, probably the second. I think. Yes, I think the second. Yeah. I think the second might be the best one. I think it's pretty picturesque down the hill into the little valley there. It's got a cool green with a false front, and I think when you get the pin over on the right, it's kind of a good kind of strategic test of whether you kind of bail out to the left and have a chip yeah, over and to test the uh, the drop off on the right. Very good. And favorite course in the world? Uh, the course that's on the screen behind the camera here. Uh, the old course, yeah. Yeah, favourite course to play, never had a, doesn't matter how I play, never had a bad time on it. Very good. And just so fun to play. Good, I mean, that's good. And you were just talking there, we're going to do about Pebble Beach in a minute. Right, so that wouldn't be, so you play the old course, that's fantastic. Yeah. Very good. It's amazing, every, cut, every golf professional has answered the same thing. Good. Yeah. course. Thank you very much, George. I appreciate your time. Oh, Hopefully you enjoyed that video, everyone, and learned some wee nuggets there on how to get better at your golf. Thank you. Cheers. Well done.